Update 43 brings with it much housing content, and I am very excited. But first, as usual, let's take a look at the new housing. Hello, it's Icy, and that's right, we're here looking at the new houses for Update 43 for the third quarter of 2024. So, we are here in Oregon. So there is a new house added on top of one of those amazing promontories in Oregon. And you can preview this house right now. Now, technically, you can actually jump in and have a look. You can jump the fence at the bottom. There are some conveniently placed rocks that can get you all the way inside and have a look, and I have done that. But let's actually preview this properly on the PTO server, shall we? So we arrive here on this absolutely stunning, stunning island. This is a medium-sized house, so I think that will make it at the 400 slot mark. We have a handbook for new homeowners, which is magic. Interesting. Okay, so we're previewing previewing this unfurnished at the moment. So all of the things you can see here will all be available. Now, this is a new feature. So the building, as you can see, is beautifully covered with vines and flowers. But we have a new activatable, which we'll have to preview after we purchase the house. So uh, that you can see what it is does but as you can see we have the Eleanor style here in Somerset um, it's an absolutely stunning house not too big gorgeous views I I mean this house is just really this is really spectacular it is just absolutely gorgeous um, on the BTS because this is not instance out yet as a house you can actually ride out and jump onto that island which is super fun so if you want to try that on live before this uh, before this goes, uh, this absolutely appears. It's fun to explore. <laughs> so let's come in the upstairs first. So we have a beautifully cozy room, high ceilings, um, huge tall windows, absolutely just really nice actually. This is a lovely size house. I'm, I think. I, I don't always buy uh, crown, finished ho crown finishing houses, uh, sorry, I don't always buy houses for crowns, because I am cheap, um, but this one, I there's a fair chance I'll get this one. These fireplaces are built in, by the way, just, uh, just to keep that in mind. So we have our beautiful, beautiful house with a ladder, but you could replace that with some stairs if you wanted, I think so. Uh, but this is uh, charming. And kind of just the right size. All right, so we might preview it. Let's preview it furnished as well. Uh, now, as you can see, extra plants, extra rocks out here, it looks like. I mean, it's pretty decently furnished anyway. I don't think this is a huge problem. The Eleanor styles have been around for some years now, uh, so price-wise, they're not too bad. Um, however, a lot of these Eleanor, uh, sorry, these are the standard cherry trees from... Um, uh, from Somerset, uh, sorry, I've been saying Eleanor styles. Of course, they're Somerset styles. The trees are from Eleanor. The building is Somerset. These are pricey, is what I'm trying to say. They actually cost a lot of gold. They're just gold, um, but they are in the sort of the 20, 30,000, the old pricing scheme. However, um, many of these furnishings, while the furnishing plans have been around for a long time, the actual material costs for the style mat are actually expensive, so perhaps it might be worthwhile to look at the differences between crown costs and not, if you like this. This is beautifully decorated, and uh, on the outside, this is lovely. <laughs> I'd live here, for real, like an actual living here. Um, so a nicely decorated bedroom. Uh, additionally, if you wanted to make two separate built apartments here. Yeah, so easy. Just cover over the trapdoor. Don't need to make it part of the one house. 
And downstairs uh, we have a dining kitchen, all of the mod cons. Very nice. So quite a lot of quite a lot of Somerset style furnishings here, uh, which is rather good. I suppose it's still Eleanor style, isn't it? It's Eleanor and High Elf style. So that's fine. All right. So uh, now that we've previewed this as furnished, let's buy it and check the activatables. Okay. Let's see what we can do now. Here we go. Uh, blank slate. Now this is interesting. This is a handbook for new homeowners. Interesting. I love this as an in-game book. Now I was assuming that this particular house would be available for crowns only. Um, but would a new player spend crowns on a house and then need a book telling them what to do? I don't know. Uh, we don't have any indication yet for this house whether we are talking yet yeah, crowns only or gold but that's interesting. Maybe we've got options. Um, so the flowers, the flower activatable turns them on or off. That is really cool. So um, yeah, you can basically have your building clean, clean lines or decorated, uh, which is so cute. Uh, I love it. I think that's amazing. I think that's uh, absolutely delightful uh, and a fantastic addition to the housing stable, stable of houses, the list of houses for the Elder Scrolls Online. But what do you think about this one? Do you like this particular property? Do you think this is a good one actually for a new housing mansa to get into? I actually think it's kind of perfect actually for if you're brand new to housing. Lovely size garden, not too big on the inside, um, big enough to still do something with, uh, but not so big as to be overwhelming. The garden already looks beautiful, so you can kind of add extra into it and tweak it to be the way you want. But if you're if it's you just want to put a few trees in and make it your own easy um i think it's i think it's marvelous i really do think it's marvelous um but thank you so much for watching here there will as always be more videos coming that are going to outline different things in the new update quite a lot of which are housing this time somewhat of a housing focused update thank you uh but there will also be some other videos about some of the other things that are coming thank you so much for watching you can of course follow me over at twitch.tv slash icyic where i stream the elder scrolls online about four days a week uh and i would love to see you over there i have giveaways as well thanks to Zenimax online bethesda australia and thank you to them for their support very excited to see what's coming for the rest of the year as well uh, do subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.